In today's True Crime and Star Real Tuesday video, I'm talking about Colette Amron whilst doing my makeup, so keep on watching to hear about her murder and see me create this makeup look. Colette Amron was born on February 3rd, 1967. There wasn't much information about her childhood, so I'm just assuming that she had quite a normal one and that there was nothing um, that happened up until this night where the crime took place. When she was only 16 years old, just after 8pm on October the 30th, 1983, Colette left her parents' home on Normanton Lane in Keyworth to visit her boyfriend who lived a mile and a half away. At approximately 10 past 8, she was seen turning into Nicker Hill where she stopped to chat with some friends. A witness nearby recalled hearing a woman scream and a car speeding off shortly thereafter. Colette never arrived at her boyfriend's house and the police were called at half ten that night. The next morning her new body was found dumped in a field a mile and a half away from Nicker Hill. She had been raped and strangled and her body dumped there. Police launched a murder investigation and on the 7th of June 1984, the murder of Colette Amram was the first case to be featured on the newly launched BBC television series Crime Watch, a programme which reconstructs major unsolved crimes with a view to gaining information from members of the public. What followed was one of the biggest manhunts in Nottinghamshire police history. 20,000 people were interviewed, 2,200 statements were taken and 5,300 inquiries were carried out. However, the killer remained at large. The case was featured for a second time on Crime Watch's 20th anniversary show in 2004. In 2008, advances in forensic technology allowed Nottinghamshire Police to put together a DNA profile of the killer and officers appealed for members of the public to come forward with the names of suspects who could then be DNA tested using a mouth swab. A similar appeal had been made in the hunt for the M25 rapist and had been proved successful. Police received more than 100 calls from members of the public. In 2009, DNA technology not available in 1983 led to the arrest of Paul Hutchinson for the murder of Colette Amram. On the 25th of January 2010, Paul Hutchinson was sentenced to a minimum of 25 years in Nottingham Prison. He never admitted his crime to his second wife, Kian, and their three children, and his first wife and son never knew either. At the time of his arrest, he was a self-employed newspaper delivery agent living in Gamston, six miles from the scene. Shockingly, he was an ex-school governor and had worked with special needs children. He'd even given one of his daughters the middle name, Colette, but police insist this was his wife's family name. On October the 11th of the same year, he was found unconscious in his cell and died in the ambulance en route to the hospital. Despite inconclusive post-mortem results, it is believed he committed suicide by overdosing on medications. Colette's uncle, Michael Leeton, said that the ruling did not make her death any easier to bear. Her mother, Jacqueline Kirby, said, We are never going to get closure because we never got answers and we never will. He never showed any more remorse and he took the coward's way out. So that's everything for today's case. I hope you guys have all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one.